White Claw is everywhere, even in our pizza crust. In case you haven't heard, the pizza chain Blaze has created a White Claw pizza that has been all the rage. However, you can't get it anymore. So we're gonna try to recreate that right here and find out what the fuss is all about. I found a very basic and simple pizza dough recipe that I have made with water. And now I'm going to make that same recipe using White Claw, the mango flavor, instead of the water. So the recipe starts by using a warm water. So I have slightly warmed this White Claw um, you definitely don't want it cold or that yeast is not going to activate. To that, I'm going to add a packet of yeast and a half a teaspoon of sugar. We're gonna let that activate for about five minutes. All right, you can see the yeast is activated and it smells kind of fruity. Now we're just going to add in some salt, oil, and flour and get it rolling. I don't know why I don't make pizza dough more often at home. I kind of didn't realize it was this easy. All right, so we're gonna put it in a lightly oiled bowl. Spray the top. I'm gonna cover it and let it rest, and then we will go side by side with our pizza dough. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half, and the dough has risen. I accidentally just slammed this bowl down, and it deflated. This is the traditional, and this is the same recipe made with white claw. All right, so I'm just gonna spread each one out and bake away. All right, I have spread both doughs out. Um, this dough is very soft and pliable. So I've ripped off a corner piece of this parchment so that I can tell the difference. It's like a claw went after it. That's the white claw pizza. All right, so I'm gonna top them the same. I don't have all of Blaze's, you know, authentic ingredients, but they all do have red sauce and mozzarella. So I'm gonna do a combination of shredded and fresh. Drizzle each with a little bit of EVOO, salt and pepper. All right, to the oven I go. Taste test coming right up. There you have it. They look, from the get-go, pretty even. All right, I'm gonna taste first the traditional pizza crust because, you know, I gotta have a a benchmark. All right, it's good. It's just, it's just like traditional pizza up against the white claw. So this one did get a little crispier and it rolled out a little thinner. So I do like that. I think that would work with club soda um, as well. Let me see if I can taste the white claw. This is also good. I. Just gonna taste the crust to see if I can taste the white claw because with all the toppings, you can't, you know, it doesn't come through. There is maybe a hint of sweetness, but it, it has the aromatic quality, like the effervescence from the white claw. The flavor is so subtle that I don't think I would use an expensive can of white claw to make pizza crust. I do think the texture is better than the traditional, and I think that's because of the effervescence, which you could probably get from club soda. However, if somebody came over and left a can of White Claw at your house and you're not a fan of White Claw or any of those um, spiked seltzers, then this would be a great use for that. So I know we have found leftover cans in our cooler if we've had a party or something that we're not really that into. So to use it in something like a pizza crust is a fabulous idea. White Claw, in my opinion, is a little expensive to, to do this with, but maybe if you're trying to win a competition in pizza crust and you wanna just give yours that little something extra, this might be the way to go. And I would definitely condone trying it with other flavors. Listen, White Claw drinkers sometimes get a stereotype, but this pizza is anything but basic. For more great taste tests, don't forget to follow my recipes on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Click that bell. In case you're not familiar with Blaze, the pizza chain, even, ugh, clearly I'm not either. <laughs>